No, I'll take ah okay fine. No, I don't like I don't like llamas. Oh. And I don't have to. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am Mama Llama. And this here is Frank looking a little Freddy Kruegery on us. I think this actually isn't a sweater that looks like Freddy Krueger. It is in fact a Hot Topic sweater <laughs> yeah. to be of the likeness of Freddy Krueger's. But it's a nice sweater. It is a nice sweater. Guys, little elephant in the room. I'll address it. Is Eddie's... <laughs> Eddie's... Is Freddy has holes in it? I don't know. Huh. Little elephant in the room and I'll address it. I messed up yesterday. Where's your bird? What? Where's your bird? My bird. <laughs> I messed up yesterday, okay? Maybe I didn't hit record on the the video. Maybe you did, though. Maybe I did. I like to think that I did and my computer malfunctioned, but sometimes... User error or mechanical error. Yes. <clears throat> you be the judge. Anyway, so you got an audio-only podcast. Crazy concept. <laughs> I know. But... Uh, we give it a try give it a try go watch it and maybe you might maybe maybe you think differently if you just heard us and didn't see us right for a long time give it a try yeah i would hear you listening to howard stern uh-huh. on the radio yeah when i finally saw what he looked like it was mind-boggling to me oh, right. and obviously now when you have a face to a name and a, and a voice you always i always think of him when he's talking but there was a while there where i didn't right and it was it was a different experience. It it really is to just hear someone's voice. So you let us know what you think. But if you're watching this, telling you that, then you already um know. What we I like. just think it was really interesting because what we talked about was the word of God and people wanting Paul and Barnabas Barnabas to be the important person of the story. Yes. And Paul and Barnabas said, "No, we want to get out of the way. It's between you and God." Yeah. And, and the we, podcast that we always try, I always try to look and make everyone see how handsome I look. No. We were taken out of the equation. We were and, taken and out of the equation. And it became God's word to the people and we were out. We were out. Okay. A me- message received. Some people might think, you know, it was it was on purpose. Yeah. You know, like, oh, they pretended like they didn't push yeah. me. Yeah. And we did and it was on purpose. But just it wasn't our plan. Yeah. We we're just we we're just living our lives. Yeah. And the path is being set in front of us. Yeah. And sometimes we don't know where we're going to turn next. Right. But what we do know is that we'll have the Lord on our side. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. What's that from? It's um a Bible verse. The one that I always say, which is um, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. I don't know the number or name, but who I know the verse. Lean not in your own understanding. It's one of your faves. One I of know. Your faves. But the part you're not thinking about is the part that says he will direct your paths. He will direct your paths. Today's January 14th. Sierra's birthday. You know Sierra. She had her back Sierra, opened up. Sierra. She did so much. It, it, she made our shirts. She we she's on, she's on our podcast of the anime. She is. Anime podcast. She made us cups. That was for her birthday one year. Mu- uh, it must have been two years ago. Oh. Two years ago seems so long. No, last year. Last year, yeah, yeah. had to have been. Oh, we were, right, we were making right, videos. right, right. Last year. Last year we got her an anime drawing. Mm-hmm. How have we stepped it up this year? Uh, it has. This is a long day. Yeah. It's a long day, <laughs> so I'm sure there will be a celebration. Um, it is an International Kite Day. International Kite Day. The 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 toy, not the bird. I don't know of a bird kite. Um, in the Bible they talk about a bird kite. I wonder, is that how kite got, the, got its name? Oh, maybe. Someone that's flying in the sky. It says don't eat the kite. Don't eat the kite. Not the bird nor the toy. No. It, well, you can say toy. I, I think there's a lot of kite enthusiasts that are probably, like, have white knuckles right now. Really? Hearing you say toy, I'm going to put toy. up a, um, I'm going to put up a poll on Instagram. Go to Croak and Crow Instagram. And it's going to say. I'm already getting mad. Do you consider a kite? A toy or a sports equipment. But so here, that's a, okay. That's the thing. It's like I'm a boogie boarder, right? And I don't call it boogie boarding because it's body boarding. It's a serious form of action sports riding. I just want to real quick tell you that the guy who was eaten by a shark in California, he was body boarding. Was he? See, does that <laughs> seem cute or fun or like a toy? No, it does not. And so obviously that has nothing to do with kites, but. Yeah. 
what it is is when you're in these worlds and it's like that start off as yeah you see little kids playing something Mm -hmm. that doesn't mean it's a toy that's i took an entire class in high school i went to high school i did and they had classes and they had classes and it was called physics of flight Mm -hmm. and you know what our our entire second half of the class was kite was making our own kites and, and flying them and that's serious stuff did you sing let's go fly a kite no do you know that song no isn't it like something let's say? go fly a kite i don't know the let's words. go fly it's from mary poppins oh no yeah yeah so i i would see down the shore and i'm sure you have always oh, yeah. well they had they had uh like festivals and stuff too yeah competitions and, well and... it's an international kite day so i imagine a lot of kites are being flown today but there's these people in two hands probably it would lift a small child up and they're shoo shoo and the the kite is just dancing through the air like a ballerina yeah you probably need st- strength yeah they're probably jacked and they're probably sweating after it mm-hmm. and so to just go and say the toy oh look at look at the look at that that man playing with the toy i don't know i'm not i'm not i'm not taking it all right i'm not standing for it how about national dress up your pet day uh i do love a dressed up pet which kind of pet what do i <sighs> turtle no i you know what They're on tiktok there is this um I don't like rodents, but they have a I don't know what it is, like a Stuart gui- Little. A guinea pig or something. Oh. And they like lift it up and it and it will just sit and like with its little hands. And the two things it lets you do is put a hat on and it, if you hand it anything, it holds it. Okay. Like, while it's sitting up. And so they'll put a hat on it and then they'll have it hold a sign and it's like then they take like a photo. But no, I like dressing up pets. You know what I like? What? I saw it with a cat on TikTok, and you see it with dogs, and any animal I've ever had never did it. It's like where they put sunglasses on them. Oh yeah, and they're just so docile. I know. They just walk around with it. Well, all of the all of the pets, if you do it in the right way, you can train. You can train birds. They have bird diapers for little <laughs> little chicks and ducks and things you want to not be dropping droppings. Yeah, bird diapers, but they also have bird clothing, and um, if you condition them and, like I said, train them correctly, they'll two ways one you could change them train them correctly they'll wear the clothing two you could train them cruelly which comes to mind like um you know the little monkey who the organ grinder what it's called it's called an organ grinder it's a uh, old think old time philadelphia italian and he has a box a music box uh, and okay. the monkey is getting the the tips yes um he's called an organ grinder it's like organ Okay. Like the music. Yeah. I'm thinking you're grinding organs. No. And the, they would dress the monkey up. He'd usually be on a chain or something. Yeah. And um, they just did it to, it's begging. It was like, they were very, um, they were begging in a really energetic type of way, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but you could use any animal to get attention, but the monkey was chosen because he had a thumb and he could, he could hold the cup. Ah. For, the, for the change but yeah so like bears and monkeys they get dressed but usually it's against their will yeah um well i guess some people have pets that like to get dressed i'm sorry monkeys that like to get dressed well yeah I, th- I think it goes back to like depending on how you train it like right it's to, does it does it think whatever's happening is a fun activity like no a- animals are all made to not need to be dressed like right humans evolved to the point where we don't have fur and we need to stay warm right. and comfortable animals don't need it but that being said they don't need a lot of things that they get used to especially if it's in a positive manner yeah horses you can dress yeah well they need it don't they they need it you, they, they put get like the jackets the jackets on. keep them warm and also did you know that if you put a horse jacket on the horse in the autumn he won't grow his winter coat oh really so sometimes they don't want him to oh. but they also have the, you know the headgear they have the, the <laughs> you know the hats yeah. with the the eye holes and um well back in the medieval days they dress them in metal oh, a, 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 a knight's horse would be fully right? metaled up fully shielded up in the bible judges eight twenty six. It just has this, uh, the weight of the gold rings he asked for came to 1,700 shekels, not counting the chains that were on the camel's necks. So I guess they they had some. They had the blamed out camels. So nice you know I love camels. Do you? Oh, yeah, that's right. I do. The, the pet clothing industry exploded during COVID. I guess people 
were just wanting Stuck to do home. something and it's like you know what <laughs> i'm dressing you I, I saw this thing <laughs> that i don't know if it was real or not but it was saying there's been a huge um surge of cats coming into vets displaying signs of like social anxiety uh-huh. or not social anxiety like um depression okay you know, you, not like you know depression in animals it's not like real depression but it's like he's like sleeping and not right. eating and um they're like from their parent from their owners being home so much oh because now they're gone no oh, no they don't like them being yeah home. And, oh, and, my gosh. and then it said like um dogs did not have the same uh reaction that's funny and i was like is that real but i could see it being i real. could see it being real too um the pet clothing business oh that's what i was saying about it so everyone was just home with their pets working online it's like right. you look like you need a little hoodie yeah yeah Five billion dollars. Five billion dollars. And by in in within six years, it'll be seven billion. That's as many people as there are on the earth. Well, they're all dressing their pets. Do you know you like camels? Do you like llamas? No, they spit. Oh, do they? So do camels. I'll take ah okay fine. No, I don't like I don't like llamas, oh. and I don't have to. <laughs> well, Peruvians and Bolivians will be mad at you for that because they love llamas and they dress them. Um, oh, and like traditional. Yeah, beautiful, garb. colorful yeah. pom poms. I feel and, like I can see that. Yeah. And that's because they think they're supernatural beings and they think it's really important to keep the um the connection. <laughs> they were looking at a llama and think, that's supernatural. I don't know. But the thing is, since they all have always and I think alpacas, since they have always dressed them and everything, they uh, they've kept a good temperament and then therefore bred that temperament. So like, uh, they have very, very sweet temperaments. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm starting to like llamas after that whole story. <laughs> NGL. Yeah. So dress your happy Sierra. <clears throat> so dress your pet. S- go dress your pet. Why not? And fly a kite. Go fly a kite. Go fly a kite. I know. I wonder why that's that. I wonder why that became an insult. Um, Take a hike. Fly a kite. Get out of here. Something yeah, that will huh. take you away from me. <laughs> yeah. And is it like, is it saying like, hmm, let's get to the bottom of that. Go fly Go a kite. Go fly a kite. Like, obviously, it's just using words. But is it like. I think it's because you have to get out of, like, there's no way you can fly the kite in this house or in this vicinity. Like, go. You need to go, like, to go fly a kite, you have to go to a field. And same thing with a hike, right? A it's like, go literally yeah. go hike somewhere. Right. And so it's like, like and, and give it's me time. Not, and it's not like a productive thing or anything. It's just like you're just by yourself. Oh, right. Like, just go do something mediocre. Right. Like, just go fly a kite. Right. Huh. Well, we, yeah, we made that up. Maybe we could check it later. Yeah, we probably won't. All right. Do you want to do Dr. Seuss Friday? Yes, I want to do Dr. Seuss Friday. Yes, I had to do it alone last week, and it was a really good book you missed. I saw it. You did because you were kept popping up on the screen. <laughs> I liked but it. It was and about. We still have it. it was about um, reading with your eyes open, mm-hmm. and uh, I it just screamed. You should be dissecting this because you are so big on that. Mm. Um, like he who has those have ears here, and if you are open to things, they'll come to you, and you can't be closed off. And I was trying to hit all those marks, and I think I did, but it was a good. It was a good one. So far, I'm. You know what's funny. I've known Dr. Seuss my entire life. Yeah. Me and him are like this. All of the books we've read, I've never heard of. Are you serious? Yeah. It's just like going to show how little my Dr. Seuss knowledge is. Oh, wow. Because I've, I haven't heard of any of the books, but maybe that will change today. Yeah. So without further ado, we are reading What Pet Should I Get? Never read it before. What pet should I get? That's appropriate because it's also the pet you get is the pet you're going to be dressing. <laughs> what pet should I dress? What pet should I dress <laughs> is what it should be called. A Dr. Seuss book. Awesome. Yeah. Um, should I just begin reading? Why don't you just begin reading? I will. What pet should I get by Dr. Seuss? We want a pet. We want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? Oh, I'm about to start rhyming. Dad said we could have one. Dad said we he would pay. I went to the pet shop. I went there with Kay. And so we went in. I took one fast look. I saw a fine dog who shook hands. So we shook. So I said I want him. I sometimes lose like the flow. Yeah. 
The tempo. The tempo. Yeah. But then Kay saw a cat. She gave it a pat. And she said, I want that. Then Kay said, now what do you think we should do? Dad said to pick one. We cannot take home two. Then what do you know? We saw two other friends. Now how could Kay and I make up our minds? A pup and a kitten. They looked like good fun. Now which one we pick? We could only pick one. Make up your mind. The cat or the dog, the kitten, the pup. Oh boy, it's something to make a mind up. Boy, is it something to make a mind up. Then I looked all around. I saw someone with wings. I said, look at him. We pick. We can pick one that sings. But then, look over there, said my sister Kay. We can go home with a rabbit today. Then I looked at Kay. I said, what will we do? I like all the pets that I see. So do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know mother told us to be back by noon. And I could have done it. I could have, I bet. I could have said, what pet should we, we should get? But you know what Kay did? Do you know what she did? She said, fish, 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 fish. It may be a fish is the pet that we wish. Then I saw a new kind and they were good too. How could I pick one? Now what should we do? We could only pick one. That is what my dad said. But how could I make up that mind in my head? Pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad said to be home by noon. And like, I think that page is important for the drawing. Make up your mind. Yeah, like it's it's like shouting. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. It's just my thought. Okay, you're jumping a little ahead. We're not, we're not really well, ready I mean, to analyze yet. You're not reading the sign, but I, I didn't guess... know if it's part of the story. It's going to be up. Yeah, they're, they're seeing it right now. Got you. See it. The time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good pets I might find? I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing, who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun, but our house is so small. This thing on a string would bump bump into the wall. My mother, I know, would not like that at all. So maybe some other good kind of pet, another kind maybe, is what we should get. We might find a new kind, a pet who is tall, a tall pet who fits in a space that is small. My mother might like this pet best of them all. If we had a big tent, then we would be able to take home a yent. Dad would like us to have a good yent, but how do I know he would pay for a tent? So you see how it is when you pick out a pet. How can you make up your mind what to get? But what if we took one of each kind of pet? Then our house would be full of the pets we would get. No, dad would be mad we can only have one. If we do not choose, we will end up with none. I will do it right now. I will do what I said. I will make up the mind that is up in my head. The dog or the rabbit, the fish or the cat. I picked one out fast and then that was that. We never know what they picked. No. That's it. We don't know what they picked. You just see a basket with his eyes. So that means that it's not about what they picked. The story is not about the final. No. The story was the... Was the we was know. Is there fan fiction about this the book? Story, <laughs> this, what do you think they picked? <sighs> the story was about the, was about the journey, not the destination, as they say. What do I think they picked? I don't know. I don't think you need to know, but you're the one who seems to be obsessed with it. I think they picked the cat. Okay. I like it. I can get a few things from it. All right. Well, I'll just say um, that I think it's about indecisiveness. It's uh, indecision. Is indecision the short, short firm or indecisive? Yeah. In, in, uh, indecisiveness. Indecision. Yes. So, okay. So we both believe that that's what the book is about. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of indecisiveness. Um I always compare this story to... Um, you always compare this story when you said you've never seen this story before. No. Um, I always think of this story that I'm about to tell you oh. as the indecisiveness. Okay. And it's not a great story, and so I'm going to give it some context afterwards. Okay. But this person goes into this magic mall that a genie made, mm -hmm. and they were looking for a husband. And they're at the bottom floor, and the genie says... There are four floors. You can pick a person on each floor. Once you pick, you mean your, your mind. Once you go up a floor, you can't come back down. Okay. And there's a there's a guy on each floor. Okay. 
first floor, he was an ugly guy and he didn't have that great of a personality. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I can be, I'll be happy with any of the other floors. Anything else. She goes up to the next floor. This guy is not an attractive guy, but he has a good personality. Mm -hmm. And she's like, ah, I kind of want, you know, some kind of looks there. Mm -hmm. She goes to the third floor. This guy has good personality and he has good looks. And she's like, this guy's awesome. But there's a fourth floor and they're just getting better. Oh, okay. Ah. and she goes up to the fourth floor. There's nothing there. And so she can't go back down. Mm-hmm. And, and it's it's obviously... Like, well, the reason why I like it is all, is different than the reason why I don't. Okay. I don't like it because I don't believe in doing things out of fear of... Oh, right. Of there being nothing better. Right. Like, I think that's how you get locked. So I, I don't think it's the same as with indecision as it is with waiting out. It shouldn't right. be... Because that's what, you know, that's what we call like desperation is like... Oh, uh, well, I'm, I'm getting right. older. It's Musical like uh, chairs. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you just grab it, grab a chair. I believe, especially if you have your faith in the Lord, that good things will come. Mm-hmm. But in that story, it was the idea was the third floor was the guy she was looking for, right? And it was then added to the still indecision, like, well, is there anything else yeah, out there? And it's like, right. well, isn't that check all your boxes? And it's like, well, yeah, but maybe there's things I don't even know. And and then and is that not what we see this where like they start thinking outside of even the pet shop? They're like, what if I get a what is it, a lark for outside? I think it was like a big old animal. Yeah, they they're they're considering everything. Yeah, they're they're pet, like that's what a yent. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, you can get a yent. Just build and, a tent. Yeah. I um, I know a story too. Um, I remember it more like a fairy tale, and there was an animal involved. But when I tried to look it up, I saw that um, all I could find was was um, Sylvia Plath which was a poet. Um, she wrote the bell jar and I, all, all I saw was her account of it. And, and it, it's, you have this huge fig tree and you don't know which fig to pick. Yeah. And you just, you can't make up your mind. You can't make up the whole time you're waiting. And they go bad. They're yeah. So by the, it's not even by the time you decide you never decided. And, and, and they all were useless anyway at that point. Um, so definitely, a book about indecision and spiritually spiritually i have an idea i'm listening that when you're trying to pick a religion oh that's what i was thinking about when, when you were reading i thought isn't that what if, if you're not strictly you know if you're born into like strong judaism or strong um christianity you like so last week was it last week you you said open your mind mm-hmm. with the dr seuss book right so open your mind like open your mind to to um buddhism and 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 uh, i don't know different religions right but couldn't you also then end up like which one should i pick which one should i pick and like my my mom will be mad my dad will be mad this one will be good if i could make it work you know okay i'm liking where you're going with this um in the sense of this yeah obviously we're christians and we pro christianity right we also have see value in other religions right and I think in the same way, the reason one of the reasons why they're so indecisive is because they all look at they didn't go to the pet store for a dog. Right. They went to the pet store for a pet. And what does a pet have? You know, oh, it's really loving. It has, you know, fun to play Mm -hmm. with. And it's not kind of the same way like we see religion. Like we, we, we see religion as valuable because it brings you closer to the life that God wants us to live. And that's how we see it. You know, mm-hmm. we see God as love and anything that acts towards that is acting towards God, even if you're saying a different prayer or, or right. you're saying a different name. And so it's the same way with, with, with this. And so we're here saying like, oh, well, you know, obviously we would choose a dog. We think the dog is the right pet. Does that not mean like, and then they, they can keep going, keep going and not get any pet. And right. lose the value of, in the beginning, it didn't even matter what pet they got. They, right. And they just wanted a pet. Right. And now they don't have any pet. Right. But they do because they chose. Right. And, you know, you can get stuck because there could be there could be um, positives in all the things you're looking at. Yeah. Like, this one would be good. But then again, this one would be good. And you don't want to run out of time. <laughs> yeah. Always just i can't make a choice i can't make a choice you know it would be good to just 
come home with the fish. Yeah. You know, at least. Yeah. Well, definitely. And so even just like pull back from, oh, that's pretty cool. I went pull back <laughs> from, uh, you know, talking being, being so broad. I think even just in Christianity or even. Oh, just in, in levels regular, of Christianity. Levels of, mm. and, and we're just like, what is the, my purpose in life? Right? Well, that's like, really interesting. As humans. I think I'll like that one. Okay. Because uh. because you, you even, you referenced the Yent. The Yent was so big that it wouldn't fit in the house. And, and he was thinking. Yeah. We could make arrangements and stuff. So it really was going from. Yeah, and it, exactly. And so when, when you, in a spiritual sense or just in an earthly sense, like trying to like just find what, what you're meant to be doing, what, what you're supposed to be doing next. And in a way, it's like, you can go through your entire life. You can go through your entire life trying to find your purpose and your passion. Mm -hmm. And you will die having all that time looked. Right. Where I was aggressive. But, <laughs> or you could do something. Like, like, yeah. like, like if, make up the sign. Make up your mind. Make up, make, yeah, <laughs> make up your mind. And, and, and it's like, whatever you want to do to make yourself grow spiritually, mm -hmm. do it. Like, like, instead of always thinking like, Oh, well, I, I I could read the Bible, or I could go over here. I can, you know, dominate nationally. It's like I could be a part of this church. I could be a right, part of that church. Right. It's like your entire time. It's like you're just struggling to even make it. Like the important part of getting a pet, right, is having the pet, and it's not about the choice. And and so in our own lives, when when we when we fumble around with these choices, and we make them so big, and it's like, oh, well, then we lose the ability to enjoy. The choices we made right and so if you have a passion if you don't have a passion and you're looking for one you'll spend your entire time looking for one you might you might say i pick i choose a dog and then you realize a dog is not meant for you and, and you bring it back obviously i'm not you know emphasizing returning pets i <laughs> think you should only get a pet if you really know Lifetime, you want it. Yeah. yeah commitment but it's a little like if we're just talking about indecisiveness mm -hmm. just just make up your mind like do do something and you and you won't be wrong like right and I think that's kind of what God is waiting for us to do, isn't he? He's, he's like, I will be here for you. Like right. I, I, I will be right by your side. Just do something. Like you, what, what are you going to do? Fail? That's that's fine. And you did it, and you failed, and you learned. Right. It's like the indecisiveness. It keeps us stuck. If you're looking up at a mountain, we always talk about a mountain, and you're looking for what is a first handhold to grab. Right. And it's like, well, what's the best one? What's the best one? You're never going to get the mountain. Mm -hmm. Like grab one. And it might be a bad hold and then you can Go. pick another. Right. But it's like to spend your entire life being indecisive about uh, doing doing things perfectly or making sure you get the right answer. It's right. like get the – you know, I, I play Sudoku. And um, some, I, I, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty good at Sudoku. <laughs> and so I play like, the like, hard and expert yeah. levels. And there are ways to do it perfectly, but I spend so much time – that I ended up like I've run out of time and I and I run out of time and I have to go do something else and I don't finish the game. So what I've been doing is I have like three mistakes to make. And so if it's like there's an option of a seven or an eight, I'll just put a seven and I'll be wrong and I'll go back and put an eight. And then I get these like super fast times oh, right. of completing them because right. it's like from the gate, I, I don't I don't dwell and scratch my head. It's like I know I could do this a long way, but it's like I made a decision. I right. messed up. And then the best thing about messing up quickly is you can go back and fix it. Right. Right away. Right. You know, you, uh, someone will, some people in life will be indecisive waiting for the time to be right. Another person will fail three things and do the fourth faster than you did the first. Right. And I think that's, that's Don't my let, takeaway. What is it? Don't let perfect get in the way of good. Right. So if, if they did not make up their minds, they couldn't have the pet. Yes. And... Um, their father said, I will pay for it. Just go and get something. Yeah. And so they had to. Oh, I like that little, little late, late in the game. They had to choose. And our confidence podcast, which was this week, one of the um, ways to get confident was to take action. Yes. And, and making a decision is definitely take action. I like how you brought that up at the end. Literally, the, their father said, I will pay for it. Just make a choice. Right. And they did know like what would make their father happy and, mm -hmm. and what wouldn't. And it's like, our father is always telling us, I just want you to do something. Make up your like, mind. Make up your mind in, in anything. You can, you can fill in the blank of what you're making up your mind on, but he's paying 
All he wants for you to do is make the choice and be back by noon. <laughs> but that guys, that is Dr. Seuss Friday. Check it out. What pet should I get? Let us know down in the comments what kind of pet you have. And are you going to dress it up for this beautiful holiday bars? <laughs> Until next week. I dress my pet all the time. <laughs> hey, don't call Frank that. <laughs> Until next week, um, keep it real. Everyone wish happy, happy birthday, Sierra. Yeah. Peace.